Hi, I'm Sarah from Sarah's Hand Embroidery and in this video I will show you how to stitch six different daisies. I will start from the simplest and smallest flowers to the more complex stitches. Let me begin with the French knots. Using six strands of thread make the center of the flower. This flower is so tiny that a single French knot is enough to fill the center. Using six strands is suitable for creating a more embossed flower. If you want a flatter one, use three strands. These daisies are sturdy, small and cute. For the petals, I will use pearl cotton number eight, which is equivalent to uh, three strands of regular embroidery floss. To work the petals, I create French knots close around the center. I work the petals on the top and bottom first. I had planned to make eight petals or eight French knots around the center. So I stitch two more French knots on the sides. And then I add one more on both sides and realized that it had already completed the flower. Oops, this French knot got messed up. I'll just leave it as it is. So I have made a tiny daisy flower with six petals. I cannot complete this video without using the Lazy Daisy Stitch. Simple, fast and relaxing. Work the Lazy Daisy Stitches on each spoke around the center of the flower. I'm using pearl cotton number 8. You can work the petals in succession. This stitch can be used for flowers bigger than this two. Using six strands of thread might take up more space and look clumped. So three strands of the regular cotton embroidery floss or number eight pearl cotton are apt for flowers of this size. I prefer working on alternate petals first and then on the remaining ones. Let me show how that is done on the other half of the flower. So that's the last one and now I will work on the remaining petals. If you feel the stitches overlap, don't worry. Daisy petals are layered and overlapping petals will just add to the effect. To fill the center, I use the satin stitch. Thank you. 
and there you go, a neat little daisy flower. The next stitch is an easy and straightforward one, using the granitos. Again, I use pearl cotton number 8, almost the same as 3 strands of regular cotton embroidery floss. Make a set of 3 stitches on each spoke to represent each petal. I make the first one, then I make the second one and nudge it to one side. And I make the third one and nudge it to the other. This makes the petals look plump. Sometimes I don't bother to do it and I stack the three stitches one over the other and I don't like the effect. I work the alternate petals first and then I work the remaining one. Once the petals are done, I fill the center with satin stitch. You can make the center bigger than what I have made here. Also, you can fill the center with French knots. There, your super easy, medium-sized daisy flower is ready. I work the fourth daisy with a satin stitch, so I give the petals a shape. I'm using pearl cotton number 8 for the petals. Start from the middle of each petal and work towards the sides. I have expanded the size of the center. You can work the petals alternately and then come back to fill the remaining ones as I'm doing here. Expect some overlapping of the stitches. Use one or two strands of the regular cotton embroidery floss for a flatter flower with a smooth finish. This is a great stitch for flowers of this size and looks beautiful and solid. I finish the flower by filling the center with satin stitch.
Since my center shows some irregularity, I try to correct it with more layers of satin stitch. There you are, a beautiful, smooth daisy flower. Let us try a more advanced stitch now. This is a stitch used in 3D embroidery and I find it good to use on daisies. You can expand the size of the center. Even though I have drawn the expanded center, I will be using the inner one. I'm using pearl cotton number 8. Thread your needle and double the thread. Bring the ends together and knot them. Now begin from the top of the spoke and go through the bottom. Come out from the earlier point with the threads split to both sides. Next, wrap the thread on the right in your right hand finger and drop it onto the needle like this. Do the same for the thread on the left. Keep stacking these wraps on the needle one after the other alternately. Do this about 15 or 16 times for a flower of this size. Now pinch the wraps gently and pull out the needle. Turn the stitch towards the center and take the needle through the bottom of the spoke. That is it! You've made a petal! Work on the alternate petals first. Then work on the rest of the petals. Ensure your needle is long enough to hold the desired number of wraps. I then fill the center with the satin stitch. I must admit that this stitch can take a little longer than the other stitches we have done so far especially if you're doing the double cast on stitch for the first time. It's a matter of your fingers getting used to the wrapping technique.
and voila, the flower is done. Now the last daisy. I will work this one with a 3D stitch called the woven pico. I use pearl cotton number 8. You can also use 3 or 6 strands of the regular cotton embroidery floss. Please keep an extra needle or pin to assist you with the stitch. Use the pin or the spare needle to pass through the spoke length. Now come out from the bottom of the left spoke, go under the needle and go through the bottom of the right spoke. Come back up very close to the needle on the left side. Take the thread under the needle and start weaving between these three stitches from the top. Using the sharp tip can be difficult, so turn your needle around to the side of the eye and use that blunt tip to weave. Don't forget to nudge and stack the weaves closer to each other. End your stitch by passing through the bottom. Remove the supporting needle and there you go, a petal is ready. The weaves on this uh, petal seem a bit far spaced, so let me show you one more time. If you want, you can skip this part. Work on the alternate spokes. After finishing 6 alternate petals, start working on the remaining. You will be making the remaining 6 petals as a bottom layer to the one that you have already made. So bend the two petals on the top to move them out of the way before stitching the other petals.
The result is a daisy with two layers of petals. Finish the flower with padded satin stitch. And there you go, beautiful 3D daisy flower is ready. Now draw the middle line on the leaves. I use three strands of green color to work the fishbone stitch over them. I spaced the stitches a little bit instead of packing them tightly. Now the name of the month. Use the back stitch to work on the lettering. Make smaller stitches on tight curves. That is it, our July daisy wreath is ready. Let me know if you liked this video, I would love to hear from you. I definitely enjoyed making this one for you. Check out my Patreon page for a booklet on daisy patterns. Thank you for watching.